See, this is the lockdown. We are all stuck at home. I don't think many of you have ever had this experience where you are sandwiched between the younger generation, the children, and then the older people. They both pull you in different direction and you don't know what to do, right? You are in a fix. On one side, the children are rebellious. They want to go out. They are used to a different lifestyle. On the other hand, and you have to sit with the parent and listen to them, all what they say from 1948 and 1956. They are getting bored and the children are getting bored and they all both look towards you for a solution and you have none. Do you have any solution? You have none. So what do you do in this situation? What happens to you normally? You get stressed out. On one hand, you will shout at your own parents and the elders at home. On the other hand, uh, you scold your children and in between, between the spouses, you fight a lot. I hope this is not the case everywhere, but this, this situation does arise. When there is tension from many sides, you give away your stress to only the very close one, near and dear one, and that is your spouse. So, all the stress you have picked up from the market, from work, from home and all that, you pour into your near and dear one. And this is where the whole family gets disturbed. Even one member of a family is unhappy, stressed out, or angry, upset. It affects the entire family, isn't it? The peace of the family is gone. We need to find ways. So I have few suggestions that you should try and implement. Because I have no experience. Okay? You should see whether this works or not, okay? So what are the ideas? First is, get the whole family committed to sit and eat meal together. One meal at least a day. Now is the time, the whole family is there together. Why not everybody sit together and eat? Second is, any point of contention or argument, avoid at all cost. In other situations, if there was an argument, you could have walked out. Now, you don't have place to go other than getting into your room or bathroom. How long can you stay in your room or in your bathroom? If you get upset, if you get angry, I would say take deep breath in and breathe out. Take five deep breaths and chant Om three times. Or any other sound mantra you want to chant, breathe in and breathe out also. <laughs> you take a deep breath and breathe out, wait for 15 seconds. If you do this, then this uh, anger which is coming up in you, like a bubble, like a buzz, it starts cooling down, coming down. And to safeguard this, avoid arguments. You postpone that, you say, okay, next month we will do that. Just accept. You know, you don't have to win all the time. If you win all the time, your kids will uh, get upset. They feel you are very controlling. And if you try to win all the time, your parents get upset. Respect the elders. And leave some space for the young people. What is that you can do to avoid arguments? Sense of humor. We all have a sense of humor. You don't have to go to a humor class, or learn more jokes, or read 200 jokes for all occasions, or 2,000 insults for all occasions. I have, there are books. Know that this time they are venting it out, out of frustration. The words that, that has flown from someone's mouth, hitting your ears, can create turbulence inside of you, and it does. Put a screen, filter within you. You will have a check post to stop. Anger causes more damage to us than others. You know, we are prone to anger because we want perfection. These are the two situations. One is people who, are very, who always expect perfection. They get angry very fast. Second is those who are stressed out. Now, you should avoid 
getting stress number one second is leave some room for imperfection if your mind is calm you can take things light with humor you can transform the whole atmosphere at home avoid negative discussions negative remarks if it comes up ignore it totally often i say to people you should spend one day in mental hospital do you know why when people blabber when they say something you don't take it seriously <laughs> you don't care for it so think you know for some day if there is so much argument in the house think your house has become a mental asylum <laughs> in an extraordinary situation like this people lose their mind when they lose their mind whatever they talk they're not responsible and it is normal then people's comments and their emotions doesn't really throw you off the balance you'll be like a soldier who can stand up to fight this most unpleasant time uh, or turn this unpleasant time into your advantage be that bridge between the two generations listen to both and manage people of your own generation as well all with sense of humor with smile and with skill